Hi everyone. Um, I hope you're all having a great weekend and um, I got a few requests today to, um, let's see, Sue from the Real Brits of New York wants to see my Alex and Annie bracelets. Um, and let me see. I just wanted to, they come with these other little charms on them. And this one here is one that my daughter gave me, and it has my birthstone for November. Um, it's a topaz, and then it has like these little, other little things that say um, Alex and Annie, and I don't know, I can't even see what they say on there. But um, they come in um, silver. They come in, they call it Russian gold, um, it's like a, I think it's a gold plate, either that or it's like a bunch of mixed metals and it's a gold color. So I think that's what they mean. But this one here is sterling. And then I have my one that's, uh, this is the Russian gold, I think, either that or the copper look. There's different finishes you can get. And they wear all the colors together, you know, you can mix all the different color metals together. Um, and this one here, it says says laugh on it. And it they're adjustable too, if you can see from the side. I'll just show you how you can see how you can just squeeze them. And this back part kind of so you can make it adjustable. Um, so anyways, that's those. And you know the good thing about these, Sue, is they, they're just so lightweight that you don't even know you have them on. I'm the type of person, I don't like things around my wrist. It makes me kind of claustrophobic in a way, if, if you can relate to that. I don't know. I'm just kind of weird like that. I don't, I don't wear watches that often unless I go someplace and like I have to know what time it is. Um, like if my husband's, you know, over the other side of the mall and I'm in, you know, the other side and we meet at a certain time or in a store or whatever, um, then I wear a watch. Or like if I'm traveling somewhere and I want to know what time it is, um, if I'm, you know, in a restaurant or whatever. But anyways, this is how they look on. And I just like all the little, little dangly things besides the actual charm that's on them. And... I asked my daughter, because my, both my daughters collect these, and I asked my daughter how you're supposed to wear them and whether you're supposed to wear, like, all the stones facing, all you know, everything facing this way or facing, you know, like, when, when I put my hand down, everything is, like, backwards. You know, so you can't see the things. But she said um, to wear them facing forward so that, like, when you're talking to somebody or, you know, when you're holding your hand up or whatever, um, people can see them from looking at you instead of just you being able to see them, being able to see them. And also, um, um, I ordered these from Lotus Stone on Etsy. And they are the little ones that look like the David Smallcomb um, bracelets. And they are gold-filled. Um, one of them is a rose gold, one is a sterling, and one is a yellow gold. And they're open in the back. They're little cuffs. And I'll show you. These actually are little for people with like little tiny wrists because I got skinny wrists. And they just kind of like all go in a cluster and they're open in the back so you don't even know that they're on. So anyways, that's my little little um, jewelry that I wanted to show you. So, and um, for those of you who haven't um, seen Sue's channel yet, she does a daily vlog with her family. And she is originally from um, England and she... Her channel is The Real Brits of New York, because she lives in New York now. And she does a 
vlog, a family vlog, and she does hauls, and she does, um, you know, she takes you with her when she's on her errands, and she tells you about her family, and she shows you her pets, and I love her dog, because her she's got a little Yorkie, and it reminds me so much of my little Yorkie that passed away a few years ago. Her name was Chloe, and she was just the cutest, most wonderful dog. I miss her so much. <laughs> And there's my other one barking. But um, anyways, so check out her channel. Ripley, stop it. Ah, it's like having little kids around. Um, and then I got a request from Miss Purple Potato. And she wanted to, she left me a lovely message today. Um, she wanted to see what my favorite perfumes were because she noticed my little perfumes on my desk here and I told her that my supply was dwindling because it is it's um um I haven't really been buying as much perfume because I I just have like my few favorites here so I'll just show you what my favorites are and my number one favorite of all time is the Shalimar initial and this is the, um, it's the, it's the new version of Shalimar. Um, I imagine you all remember that from when you were younger. Um, I do because I used to babysit at this lady's house that always had Shalimar. And I would just spray my whole body with it. And she probably wondered why her Shalimar was disappearing so fast, you know, when she had to keep buying new ones. And I'm sure she smelt it on me when I used to come home, you know, when she used to come home from babysitting. But I was in high school at the time, and I just, you know, who knew? But anyways, um, so I love this. This is just my favorite. And it's the kind of perfume that just puts me in a really happy mood. Probably because it reminds me of when I was 16 again, when I, you know, when I was babysitting. And, um... It just takes me back to that time. And plus, it's a very um, soothing, relaxing scent for me. Um, it just really, you get a whiff of it now and then, you know, when you when the wind's blowing or, you know, when you walk, walk away and then walk back again. You just kind of can smell it in the air, but it's not overpowering. Um, I have asthma, and there's not too many things that I can wear without my throat closing up, and this is one of them, and I just love it. It's just a beautiful, soft, um, I want to say powdery, but um, look it up online if you want to know the what notes are in it, and it's the Shalimar Initial, and I just love this. Um, then, um, I have this Coach one that I smelled this on a... Um, you know those little scratch and sniff things that are in magazines? And and I loved it. I rubbed it on my wrist. I rubbed it on my neck. I took, you know, took the paper out of the book and started rubbing it all over me. And it just left a beautiful smell. You have to wait till this dries down to... I have it on today. To appreciate the smell. It does get very soft and... Um, it... It smells just more feminine, and um, I, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's it's a very feminine smell. It's It's got a little bit of sweetness to it. It's got a little bit of powderiness to it. Um, it's just very feminine, and I, I really enjoy this. So that's the Coach... Um, perfume and another one of my favorites and I have to put this on my ankles though like behind my ankles I can't wear it up around my neck because I'll immediately start um, coughing and, and choking because my throat will close up and it's the India Hicks um, Island Living by Crabtree and Evelyn and it's um, the Spider Lily one, and this is the Eau de Cologne, and it is, um, it's got a mix of, like, all kinds of, 
um, very strong um, you know different things in it going on but it it's just it's a refreshing and at the same time it's um uh, I can't kind of spicy I guess and I just like it but I can't wear it up around my head but you know that's you know smell travels up so if I put it on my ankles, you know, I can get a little whiff of it throughout the day without it being overpowering to me. And let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, one of my favorites is um, Amazing Grace, but I ran out of that. It's by Philosophy. And it's just a clean, soap and water, fresh, cozy kind of smell, and I like that. I, I really enjoy the Philosophy fragrances. And they're supposed to be made so that um, nurses can wear them, people that, you know, work with the public, that um, if anyone has allergies, it doesn't bother them at all. It, um, you know, nurses wear it when they go to work because, you know, they want to smell nice and it's not overpowering to the patients if anyone has, like, asthma or breathing problems. Um, it's just very soft, clean, um, soap and water um, type fragrance, and it's just really nice. And I love this one because it's got like black raspberry. This is Falling in Love, and I'm almost out. And this is by Philosophy also. And it's got like black currant or black raspberry, and mmm. I just, I love this smell. This is my favorite of all of the philosophies, is the falling in love. I just, I really love it. It's just a sweet, um, not too sweet, sickeningly sweet. It's just a fresh, it makes me think of like fall when, you know, you're outside and raking leaves and you can smell like, it just brings me back to that time of year, like when you can smell all the um, people's fireplaces going, and it's got like a sweetness of like Christmas, almost like a pine smell of a Christmas tree. It's I just love it. It's it's um, it puts me like in another world in my head. It's just the fragrance does that to me. It just each one just evokes such a different feeling and a different. Um, reaction and you know I have to stick to the ones like I said that don't overpower um, the senses because of my allergies. Another one that my husband loves is the Twilight Woods and this is by Bath and Body Works um, and it this one just really smells like girly, um, let me smell so I can tell you, um, sugary, um, powdery, sweet, and I, it's just a really nice light perfume, and it's not a, this is just a body spray, um, but out of all the the ones that I've noticed, my husband loves this the most. Every time I wear this, he says, "Oh, you smell really good." And this is probably like the cheapest one that I have, but I like it. So I can, I it's cheap enough so I can spray my pillowcases with it, or you know, stuff like that. Another one I like to spray my pillowcases with is the. Um, it's called lavender and rosemary, and this is from the aromatherapy company in New Zealand and I bought this at a little gift shop and oh god you know that lavender like relaxes you and you know makes you feel I'm sorry I like I got a bubble in my throat like a air bubble um you know how lavender just makes you feel relaxed and it's supposed to be like a very you know 
nice scent when you go into bed. And the rosemary with it, it just smells so good. And I, whenever I put fresh sheets on my bed, I always spray this on there. And I'm getting out of perfumes now. I'm, I'm talking about this, and I don't mean to. Um, but like I said, I, I just, um, my supply's kind of dwindling here. And I also have the white tea and ginger body splash from Bath and Body Works. And that's really pretty. That's really fresh and and lively and um, kind of citrusy. It's infused with um, white tea and ginger extracts. And this is a nice light one. This is a good summer um, spray. And then I bought this, um, what the heck is the name? Juicy Couture. And it's okay. I, I don't know what the big hype of it was. Um, that's what it looks like. Um, I, that's why I bought a little one. I'm, I'm just not thrilled with it. But, I mean, it's okay. I'll keep it. I'll wear it now and then. Um, and then I remember wearing this one in high school. Jovan Musk. And this is like the most powdery smelling musk oil. And it's a roll-on. It's not a roll-on. It's a... It's got one of those things there. The other one's a roll-on. Um, and it's just a very nice, powdery, clean, cozy smell. And it's... Oh, now I got... I have like a hundred different perfumes on now. And I got it all over me. Um, but it's an oil, and you put it on your wrist, and you give it a rub, and to activate the oils, and it just kind of stays with you all day, and it's 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 kind of nice. Um, let me see. Um, another one that I like, I like Lily of the Valley, and I like this Jessica McClintock. Um, it smells like what it is. Um, Lily of the Valley, and that's one of my favorite smells. It reminds me of um, just walking through the woods, and you find, like, you know, in the spring, you find little clusters of Lily of the Valley, and you put them up to your nose and sniff them, and I just, I love that smell. Um, then I have my Elizabeth Arden Green Tea Spray. Uh, this is the OD Perfume scent spray and it's the green tea and this is just it smells like grassy green like a green smell um, I wouldn't say it smells like green tea but it's it's nice and fresh and crisp and this is another good summer one too it just makes you feel cool like you know as in not hot I don't mean cool as in Oh, I'm so cool because I'm wearing green tea. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Um, all right. Um, let me see. Oh, I cut my hair again this morning. And, and hold on. I got an itchy eye. Itchy eyelid. Um, and I've been kind of like tweaking the bangs and all that stuff. And I, I know you're sick of hearing about my hair because I talked about it yesterday when I first cut it. And... But this time, I trimmed the back way up in the middle and then down. So I cut off that bunch of stuff that was here. And so I'm liking it a little bit better. And then I kind of like brought the pieces up like this. And whatever long pieces was on the top, were on the top rather, um, I just kind of cut them. And then I went to the next row and did the same with that. But I have, right now I have it kind of teased a little bit to try to make it look stacked because that's the the look that I was going for like more stacked in the back and I think I'm getting there guys um and I trimmed the front a little bit too like in here um I need a clean cut like a clean cut on the bottom um and I can't have too many layers because my hair is so baby fine and the only way I can get any volume is by using this PSST, PSSSSST um, Instant Dry Shampoo. 
and this one here it doesn't show up like white on your hair and so like you just take a little bit spray it underneath where you want the volume just give it a little rub through the hair and instant volume guys and I'll tell you it's it's um it doesn't leave that white film on your hair I don't know this is just that it says new look I think they're talking about the bottle um, but it says uh, refreshes and revives and extends blowout and color life. Wow. Um, oh, because you don't have to wash your hair as often because you use the dry shampoo. That makes sense. Uh, absorbs ex excess oils, builds volume on the go. And so I, I'm trying not to um, wash my hair every day. So now I do it like every other day. I washed it today because, you know, I took a shower this morning and I just wanted to wash it because I knew I would be cutting it and I wet cut it this time. Um, but I'm trying not to wash it every day because as I'm getting older, my hair is getting um, drier at the ends. And so I'm trying to, like the second day, my hair always looks better actually um, than it does the first day. So um, so usually I do it on the third day. But um, I used to wash it every single day when it was short because it was the only way that I could ever get any volume. Um, otherwise it would just like be um, flat on my head. But for anybody that has thin hair, or wants their hair to have like a little lift and like a little volume at the sides and you know um, just freshen up their hair um, it smells really good it's it's just a nice fresh smell and um, I like it so I think that's it let's see um, 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 um. oh in my last giveaway, when I gave away the, let's see, Dinah, um, Dinah 13 won my giveaway for this, and I sent it out. She um, lives in Canada, so I had to fill out, you know, the customs slip and everything. And she told me that she was going to um, let me know when it arrived, and I haven't heard from her yet, and I think that was like two weeks ago, or two and a half weeks ago, I don't know, check back when I did my giveaway, it was on a Thursday, and, um, anyways, I'm concerned, because I've been reading other people's, um, comments on their giveaways, and a lot of people that are sending things to Canada, um, to people, they never show up. And so I don't know what's going on. Um, I didn't do tracking on it, and now I wish I did. And, you know, just spent the extra couple bucks because, I mean, I think if you have a tracking on it, um, someone in transit wouldn't be as apt to take it because then they would know right where it disappeared. Um, or maybe it went to the wrong house, but um, Diner, if you got it, could you let me know? Because I'm getting kind of concerned now, because I really wanted you to get it, because I know you'd love it. Um, so let me know about that. And Katie, I hope you're enjoying the CC cream. Um, let me know how you like that. And... Mm -mm -mm. Has anybody ever tried Queen Helene um, face mask? I remember using that when I was in high school, and it smelled like um, it was the Queen Helene mint julep mask. And I've been looking for that, and I think the only place I can find it around here is probably Sally's. But that's my new thing that I'm hunting for, is the Queen Helene. And if anybody else uses it, let me know, because I that's been around since. I graduated in 1972, so it's it's been around before that because I used it all through high school. I loved the way it made my feel, you know, skin feel. And I'm also looking for the NYX. <coughs> excuse me, 
lip butter in apple strudel because um, Charlotte on crawl, uh, Crawling in My Web um, mentions that. She wears that all the time. And she's the one that I found out about the um, Rimmel lips, uh, lip pencil in... Oh, I've got to look at it because I can't remember it. Um, but -um, but -um, East End Snob. Because she wears this all the time. And, and then she mentioned in her um, video the other day it, that she had this on as a lip pencil. And then she puts the NYX lip butter in apple strudel over that. And I just love the way it looks on her. So... Anyways, so when I go out, I'm going to look for the Apple Strudel and the um, Mint Julep Mask. Those are my next two finds um, that I'm on the hunt for. And let me see. Let me see. Um, I guess that's it, guys. Um, so this is what the back looks like on the hair. Um, I cut it in you know, more in a V, and I still might tweak it a little bit, I don't know. But um, I'm happy with the way cutting it at a slant has fluffed up the back and sides more, and it's more like the look I'm going for. So have a great weekend, guys. Have a wonderful, um, what the heck's the holiday that's coming up? Labor Day! Have a wonderful Labor Day weekend. I'm sorry. Maybe it's the the hair dye going to my brain. I don't know. Um, but have a wonderful Labor Day. I hope you're all safe and happy and healthy. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.